How's it going, everybody? Welcome back to the 100% walkthrough for The Last Hero of Nostalgia. Uh, so we have pretty much wrapped up Crown of the, or Keep of the Stolen Crown. I don't know why I keep messing up the title. That, at any rate, uh, we are headed up to the boss at this point. The third great one of the game. So, this lady be kind of difficult. Uh, we are meeting uh, Lady Sko up there with the civilization armor. Basically what that does for her is it um, pretty much she takes no damage uh, with that armor on which is pretty nice. So uh, I would imagine this boss would be pretty difficult. Uh, I have not done an a no NPC run yet. Uh, that is probably the, the next threshold thing I'll be doing. of the fanatic sacristy, last of the great one lieutenants. Almighty guide you, my friend. So I'll start to her. Shall we end this pain together? For the unwanted. Okay. So this lady, depending on your vitality. She has the potential to one-shot you with a couple moves. She likes projectiles. She moves around pretty fast as you can see. She does that kick. Move away from you. That chain attack is uh, pretty devastating. She has a couple combos with that. As you can see, fast weapons here are probably the probably beneficial because these uh, slow weapons that her and I have she moves around pretty quick there's a combo smack her at the end of that that yeah that triple chain combo is kind of devastating Gotta watch out for that and that that as you can see is devastating. Um, I think she, yeah, I think she interrupted. She interrupted one of my heals there, which you gotta be careful with that. Then she has projectiles. You gotta pick your spots for healing, uh, so that you don't get interrupted in the middle of a heal, like I did there again. Yeah. Careful for that dash attack. A lot of damage. Yep, and that that projectile too, that does a lot of damage as well. Really, the strat here is just careful of those multi hit combos. Just try and hit her when you can. Like I said, it's going to be much, a lot more difficult for you when you're doing a no NPC run. It's basically, Lady Sko right now is God. She does not take any damage. Typically she does that jump away when she does the triple combo too, so... As you can see, as she gets lower on health, she becomes a lot quicker and she does not stay still for long. So, like I said, fast weapons would probably be your friend here. I gotta be being very cautious here because I only got one. I got no heals. There's no way I'm eating a green herb right now. Yeah, 
That that thing is super dangerous. Icon of wonder. <laughs> I'm not even gonna. Let our to justice do be the a name. warning to all who cause suffering. Tyrants think they should change the world, but all they do is hurt it. I would martyr myself for this world. I would. Okay. So now we go out of here. And we will get a little cutscene. Can't go in there yet. Restore him. of tradition, breaker of meaning, your story is over. Roll credits. <laughs> okay, so clearly this is not the end. Stop! This hero's story endures. Okay, let's talk to the old man. My old friend has lost his meaning, his purpose, so he prevents the next chapter of your story from unfolding. You must confront him. His grief, as before, has whisked him away to the start of sequence, a place where meaning was once conveyed. It long ago became inaccessible to heroes. We must find you a way inside. Hmm. Perhaps a way which your kind was never meant to see. Meet me below this husk of a keep. Return to the edge of the wilds. You shall pry open the narrator's mouth and extract the information you need. Return to... You shall... Okay. So this door is open now. Um, up there is going to be a spot where we need to remember a weapon later on. So down here is the other elevator that connects to the ballroom across from the other elevator that we took up. See? So, um, up here, remember I said going up here, uh, we had to remember a weapon. Uh, indeed we do. And it is the, probably should be doing this when I have more health and heals, but oh well. Um, <laughs> so we're going to be remembering the wonderful point maker that we just got from the boss up here. A green herb just to be on the safe side. So we're gonna be remembering that in here. Uh, where is it? Looking for something that's quivering. I think it's up further. Yep, there it is. So 
triple scaling weapon. What? Where did you come from? Wow. Followed me all the way up here? I am impressed. Surprised nobody nobody else did. There you go. Backstab for your trouble. And oh. Okay. Bye bye. Surprise. Enemy didn't reset, that's funny. Okay. So now, a couple things that we need to do. Um, we need to go back and talk to Vengeance as well. We need to use the icon so we get another charge to our heal. Aggro everybody in the vicinity. And we need to go back and talk to uh, the old man. Let's rest here and get back our heels. back down and we also need to remember the uh, hero stumper weapon that we picked up along, the, along our travels here we'll be doing that right outside here I was just saying to use the icon as well and I forgot to do that as well as level up I will do that now As you can see, Vengeance has moved. She's just at the entrance to uh, to the keep here. Get to her in a second. Okay, so let's use the Wonder Schaschenberg's <laughs> icon. I'm pretty sure that's how you say the name, hopefully. stamina um if i have not mentioned before and po potentially you guys are noticing as i'm leveling up here um most there's kind of a difference on some of the stats but most of the stats will cap out at 25 uh soft cap is at 20 and then you'll start to notice diminishing returns after that especially after 25 so here's the hero stumper weapon. Chance for degradation damage as well. You should not give up. Such is your nature, yet you never succeed. My success was never measured by the outcome my actions seem to want. Perhaps yours is not measured by your class. And the kings? Such as I thought. The success of a father is measured by that of their progeny. Okay. It is done then. The fanatic's reign of order has finally passed. But the crown, long repressed, is now only ash. Forgive me, but what is a kingdom with no king? What should be saved if there's no station to keep it safe when its saviors inevitably pass? Here. Take this. It too has been forgotten. Nostalgia has no need of it now. Okay, that's an important good quest died item. With the good king. Good especially, tradition. especially for throughout Nostalgia, are many staging rooms, secret places never meant for a hero to wander. The great maze of these corridors leads to the NPC city, 
a respite for all those facilitating the great ritual to cast off their costumes and simply be. But it has changed. To reach the narrator, venture through the NPC city and into Nostalgia's forsaken tutorial. Find a staging room entrance beneath the wilds and meet me within. Meet me within the stage. Yeah. So if you remember, there were several corridors in the wilds um, that connected with different sections, one of which being NPC City, so that is where we're headed. Um, let's roll down here. Okay. Sorry for the weird cut there. Um, my game crashed. Uh, occasionally going into new areas uh, game has a hard time keeping up it's a little laggy all right so we are heading down here and down here City. And here's the old man. You have fought for us all. A herald of what may be. There is power in the future you bring. But you are drawn from some forgotten time and space. The memory of you does not fit. And that too gives you power. Fear not the shallowness from whence you came, for its meaning is multidimensional. Embrace the depth of what you are! Okay. So, you can traverse the areas like this now. So check this out. <laughs> so you go flat. Isn't that funny? Looks pretty wild. Okay, so now... You have the flat counter for those red skull attacks now, too. Confront the narrator and cut the strings with which he binds you. Fly, you fool! It's honestly kind of weird and not really that handy. Um, I will sh You seek to confront the power of story? Leave me to my misery. Okay. I will show you guys how that works. Uh, but first we are going up here and get a nice little shortcut. We'll see where this connects to. Okay. So we will get this elevator later as well. For now. Dun, 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 dun. Hall of Heroes. All the way back to the start of the game. So, like I said, we have a few things to do. There's going to be a fair amount of running around in this episode. As you can see, we can remember heroism. Not a, I haven't done that. I'm not as sure exactly what that does. Uh, later on, we do get a prompt there, and you will see what happens then. But And it says something different then. Um, but for right now, it says remember heroism. I'm not sure what happens if you actually do that. So let's talk to Vengeance. Leave me. She says, leave me. Uh, so, like I said, that heirloom that she gave us is an important item for her quest to finish up her quest. So we want to remember that, uh, that item in a couple areas from now. Just keep that in mind. So we are going to be running down here because we need to remember an item across from the blacksmith over by the depths uh, but while we are doing that I figured we have acquired a couple more things that we can remember in Orshaft Village so I figured since we are we need to remember that to finish up 
that item to remember, um, I'm sorry, remember that item to finish up Lady Sko's quest, I figured we would kind of kill two birds, a few birds with one stone here, and, uh, remember some more items over here. Um, you don't have to do this stuff now, but I figured since we'd be over here, it might be beneficial. Uh, we do get another easy maker key, um, in the next area, so we will need to come back here then as well to, uh, get more items in the shop. So, it's up to you. There are two items to remember down here. But the, the one that we're going to remember across from the across from the blacksmith near the depths, now that we have that flat, that go flat ability, um, across that broken bridge that I pointed out earlier in the series. Um, that is an important item for the main quest that we need to uh, remember. Um, and, and remember in order to, it is the edge of entropy that we're going to be remembering so there is a prerequisite for that uh that you need to remember the uh the crystallis tooth first in warlock wilds so if you have not done that you may need to go back there and do that first otherwise you won't be able to do that uh so here we are remembering the serpent's shield I said before, I'm doing it, doing these now so I can uh, reap the benefits of the of the insight bonuses from remembering stuff. So I feel it's beneficial to do that uh, whenever you can. Okay, so the haunted dream armor set. Remember that down here. stats here. Okay. So I am going to run back up here. And we're going to now go for the where the blacksmith is. We also have, uh, if you guys have not uh, remembered Nam's dancing pole or the um, Leonard's lounge shorts, or uh, there's another item, I think it's loot, hero's loot or something. Um, if you have not remembered those, um, or the forgotten space armor uh, in the depths, um, we are going to be running back and doing those as well, since we're in the general vicinity in this in this area. So if you if you guys have already done that, you can uh, feel free to move on to the next episode. Um, that is the that is the goal of the rest of this episode. bridges over here. So now be prepared when we uh, remember this over here. The minute you, there's a little cave over here, the minute you come out of there, uh, Lady Sko is going to take a swipe at you, so we're going to have to fight her. Uh, mainly because you'll see why when we go in here. As you can see, it's a dark cave. You got that black smoke, and there's a kind of like a picture, uh, almost like a seance area with uh, the reservoir of pain there on the wall. Uh, so, where is this thing? There it is. So, she's probably watching us and thinking that we are uh, in lead with the reservoir of pain, be my assumption. So, watch out. 
Suffering begets only suffering. My burden of doubt is gone. I will save you from yourself, pain bringer. He's got a good bit of health, um, but just swings pretty slow, so. Pain okay. bringer. So now we get back the civilization armor. Let's grab this stuff over here. And there is a handy little shortcut down here. You will see where this goes. Okay, so this is right by the Beacon and Orshaft Village, right near the other shortcut. So we finally have that gate unlocked if you're wondering when this would ever open. So I'm going to run through the depths, meet you guys over there. Where the forgotten space armor is. Okay, so over here, you guys remember the path. Just running by everything. Oh, the wrong turn. Okay. Mob chasing me. Okay, so in here is where we first met um, Lady Sko and Nero. Alternatively, you could come in here from that shortcut from the quest or reward vault beginning of there, but I mean, positioning where we are now, uh, it's better right here. So, so we're remembering the forgotten space armor, which I just realized kind of looks like, if you look at the mask, it looks like, um, there's a lot of call outs to other video games. Um, so this looks like, uh, Dead, the dead space uniform. Okay, so we just passed the blacksmith again, uh, right by the entrance of the depth, so we are running to uh, Festivity Row, uh, to the end of it where the stage was, where we fought um, our other NPC friend, I think it was, uh, I forget what his name was. Uh, Fatima, I think. So, right here is where we fought that one. Um, so we're gonna go up to the stage here and remember Nam's dancing pole. And then after that, we are going to go to the theater and remember the uh, loot. Heroes loot. That's the dancing pole. So, meet you guys over at the theater. Okay. So, if you remember the path, there's this. We just left the spire. And heading down here. Towards a little spot with the uh, banana tree. All the guys throwing stuff at you. Oh god. Still getting grabbed. Smack that guy. Smack this guy. I should let my stamina come back. There we go. Ah, oh, man. Okay. Those guys are out of the way. So, stand in front of this so this other jackass can't throw stuff. Uh, so, loot. Here is loot. 
Where are you? There we go. All right, so next is Leonard's Lounge Shorts. So we're going to go out here, roll off. Immediately getting munched on. Holy shit, look at my health. Okay. So, right over there is where we need to go. Oh, another flying thing here. Okay. So, right here. Let's go flat. <laughs> Looks so comical going across here like that. So right over here. Let's remember the lounge shorts. Fireplace down, go back. So we are basically done with the remembering things in the first few areas, other than um, maybe like an item per area, uh, like Orshaft Village, um, Festivity Row, and the Depths. Uh, we will get the, those things in the areas coming up. You notice there, it does say that we have. Um, relic in this area that we can remember we'll do that later um here you see the insight bonuses that we're getting now so we're almost at 50 and after 50 you don't get any further bonuses but you still have those other 25 relics that you need to remember after that point so let's use yeah you get a um icon from lady sco All right, so that's about it. Hopefully you're all doing well. We will continue on in the next episode. Stay tuned. More coming at you. Take care.